Gwen, do you want to say something? Hey, I've said it. Come on, stop Gwen. This. Sit down, please. Yeah, I'll stop be it. happy to stop it. Gwen. Well, Hi, how are you? It's good to see you. What do you know? The gang's all here. Notice your earring. It's very... Hey, Frankie, there's a presentation going on. Get out of here, Frankie. Yeah. What did he tell you, Jamie? for that. In 1987, we won our first Devilbus Award, and our circulation went to an all-time high. One small child touched an entire nation, reminding us all to cherish our loved ones, learn from them, and value our time together. Now, why don't you two just kiss and make up? Or could I coax a little handshake out of you, you know, just between friends? Fine with me. I want to be friends. I never said we weren't friends. Well, when you two look at each other like that, it just, it's, it's terrific. These memories we will never forget, captured in stories and pictures that linger with us long after the moment is past. Anniversary party tonight. Because I wanted to be here. Yes, what I understand. It's going to be the social event of the year. Oh, not for me. They're boring, especially when I can't talk to Jake. And Jake's working tonight. Do we want to see Mr. Raggedy Andy? Uh, does Jake know Mr. that you're here? No. 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 I just told him I wasn't feeling well. Well, why didn't you tell him the truth, dear? Because I am sick of all the grief he gives me every time I say I'm coming to see my little nephew. And even Vicky gives me a hard time. Yeah, me. They just think I'm getting too attached to you. But who wouldn't get attached to you? You're such a little doll baby. Oh, Miss Marley. Doll baby. But who cares what they think? Because we have the whole night to spend together, and we are going to have so much fun. Yes. No, you can't. What? Miss Marley, I think you should leave. Could you yes, tell him I heard? I have to find Jamie! Don't bother, Vicky. I already told him the truth. What? I told him what really happened. He believes me. Now no. he knows what a liar you really no. are. No! I gave you every opportunity, every benefit of the doubt. You turn around and lie and cheat! Get away from me, so Jamie! Stop with everything else. You tell him I raped you. No! How could you do it? How could you do it, Vicky? Don't you have one? ounce of decency left in you. You're trying to make me feel guilty? Like you used to be best friends. Oh, like hell. I guess that was all a lie, too, yeah. huh, wasn't it? What kind of friend do you think you are? First, you dump me to run away with my sister, and then you destroy my life with this test? 
What kind of friend is that, Jake? I hate you! Oh, I hate you! So now we know it! Now we know. You have used me for the last time. Now I am going to get what I want. What are you talking about? I'm going to have my family vacation. What the hell do you mean? I had given you a break before. Not anymore. What are you talking about, I'm Jake? I'm talking about Stephen. No. I'm not going to let you let him grow up with you filling his mind with lies that I'm some rapist. Leave my baby alone. I don't take orders from you anymore, Vicky. <laughs> I'm going to take Stephen away from you. The difference is... So what are you staring at? Don't have any more. Oh, I'll be damned if I'm going to let this good champagne go to waste. You don't need to drink. All right, Mr. Killjoy. There you go. Are you happy now? Get back upstairs. Too crowded. Stacy, go back to the party. Do you know that you always speak to me in imperatives? Just do it. Look, don't tell me what to do, Buster. I'm serious. A little too serious. You know, maybe that's your problem. Maybe you ought to learn to lighten up a little bit. Don't make this hard. Well, don't make my decisions for me. I'm a grown woman, for God's sake. I don't want you here, okay? Well, what about what I want? Damn it, just leave me alone. <sighs> there you are. Yeah, here I am. This is me. No doubt about that. You mind telling me what the hell you think you were doing out there? All right, let's just leave it alone, all right? No, I'm not going to leave it alone. Pulling a stunt like that, you're going to jeopardize everything that I'm trying okay. to do. Okay! I've been under a lot of stress, Evan. Things haven't been going particularly well for me. I know. I'm trying to scratch around that godforsaken country trying to make a living. Watching my marriage to Willis go in the toilet because of it. Having to go down there tonight and see Rachel stand in front of all those people covered with jewels. I just couldn't take it anymore. It got to me, that's all. Well, that must be hard, huh? Hey, it's worse than hard. I am 42. I'm all alone and flat broke. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're sorry? You know, it got to the point where your Uncle Willis and I couldn't even look at each other anymore. And I still love him. I miss him so much. I wish he were here. Oh, I know you do. And then he could be with me. Although I don't know why I think one night on this yacht's gonna make up to him for all those years of... Look, I'm sorry I'm embarrassed you. You're gonna hold it against me. How can I hold it against you? Uh. Huh? <laughs> you and Willis raised me. But you know, I care about you. You're, you're like the only mom that I ever knew. And I'll do anything for you. I don't care what it is. All you have to do is ask me. I'm not going to let you down again. I'm going to go into that ballroom and make it up to everybody. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Cross my heart, hope to die, I'll be good. <laughs> Stick a needle in my no, eye. No, we don't have to go that far. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's go, come on. All right. Do I look like I've been crying? Well, he looks very, very pretty. All right, I'll just get on my shoes and be right with you. Caroline. Evan. I've been looking for you. Is I... there, is there some sort of problem? No, uh, but uh, do you think I could speak to you for a, a moment, just privately? Hmm? Oh, 
Sure. She's gorgeous. Uh, all right, listen, I'll see you later. Okay. Catch you in the ballroom. Bye-bye. So, the plot thickens. Kelly, don't tell me that you've been out there eavesdropping. I mean, that's something that art dealers, I didn't think they'd stoop that low to do. I think it's about time you told me exactly how you're connected with the frames. Events like Live Aid showed a whole young generation was aware of universal concerns. And though sometimes our youth can be antagonistic, they have a voice that wants to be heard. Well, I will not be ruled by your old-fashioned, tight-fisted notions like when we were living in that grungy apartment in that house in Bowman Street. We were a lot better off in that house on Bowman Street. We lived within our means. Yeah. We lived by the rules. All of them. You think you can pick and choose the rules that suit you? You think that rules are meant to be broken? Well, they're not. They're... <gasps> Mom. Mom, what's wrong? <gasps> Rachel! On a hot night in July, millions gathered to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Statue of Liberty. Fireworks lit up the sky from coast to coast. Sometimes we take our freedom for granted. The freedom to speak out, to have an opinion, the freedom to love. I love you, Kathleen. I love you, Cass. You've got to understand why I was with Cecile. She owed me money. And I needed it for us, for the honeymoon. Kathleen, I did it for you. I did it all for you. I don't need a big honeymoon. So I'm impulsive. I'd do anything to make you happy. Editorially, Bravo reflects everything Mackenzie Corey stands for. A sense of family, of community, of nation. Corey Publishing is captured for posterity. Our dreams, our fears, our hopes, year after year, page after page, story after story. It's all there in black and white.